what's up guys, this is Kyle from KGR, continuing my Let's Play on Sonic Generations. Alright, so I got a lot of stuff lately, and I might as well talk about that later throughout the video. Alright, so anyway, we last time we did Speed Highway, and now we're going to be moving on to... City Escape. Alright, so I tried recording this before, so I have earned a trophy, so you're not going to see the trophy up here. But, we're still going to be unlocking Rouge and everything, so... Everything that we would have unlocked is not unlocked except for the trophy. But yeah, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna be playing it first as Classic Sonic. And then we're gonna be doing it as Modern Sonic. And you know, just like usual, except for when we did Sky Sanctuary. Because we did it reverse because of how Knuckles' commentary is. But whatever. Alright, so anyway, what was the stuff that I unlocked? Well, uh, unlocked. What, what was the stuff that I got? <clears throat> Yeah, yesterday I went to, over to my brother's, and my brother gave me a lot of stuff. Like, he gave me, like, DJ Hero for both PS3 and Wii. Because apparently, uh, his girlfriend's mom, which is also my ex-girlfriend's mom, um, no, it's not Rebecca, it's another girl. But, uh, she gave me all this stuff. And it's really awesome, and my brother also bought me a new 3DS case. And I'll be showing all this off when I do my... July pickups, so you have to wait until the end of the month to see all that stuff. Also, I got myself a new camcorder and a new tripod, so the quality will be massively improving. And I got it like just before I got my uh, uh, Luigi Nendoroid. So when I do my unboxing and also my review, uh, both of those will be in much, much better quality. And I got the new light bulbs and everything, so lighting is. Like, it's still not the greatest lighting in the world, but it's much better than what it was before. Hold on, check this out. Yeah! Aw. I was hoping to do an awesome, like, jump thing, but apparently it failed, so that kind of sucked. Oh, I missed that red ring. I'm gonna go back and get that. I really want that. Nope, I, now I can't get it. Oh, yeah, here's some Easter eggs. Uh, this is, uh, Fang, I believe. Or whatever they want to call him. I forget what they want to call him in this. I think they called him Fang in uh, Sonic Fighters. That's the only way I know him. Am I stuck down here, really? Oh, I was gonna say. Oh, these things actually do move. Awesome. Yeah, we're only seeing Fang now. Oh, there we go. We see, see Burke, or whatever. Ah, uh, the little polar bear also in Sonic Fighters, or Sonic Championship, if you want to call it that. And now we got the skateboard we're gonna roll around with. And you can make this thing actually last for a while, too, if you know what you're doing. Okay, we got another red ring, so that's good. And we got another skateboard, even though it's not really gonna help us, so. Okay, we're, we're not gonna go up there, we're gonna go down here. We're gonna try to get this extra life. It's not really hard to get, actually. You just hit this, hit that, alright, then just land on that platform, and then just jump on that. See? Pretty easy. Alright, we see another character. Actually, two more characters. Mighty the Armadillo being one of them. I forget what the little squirrel thing is called. I never got to play, uh, Knuckles Chaotix. At least I'm pretty sure he's from Knuckles Chaotix. Alright, that was decent. Alright. I gotta say, I love the classic remix of City Escape. It's probably, like, one of my favorite remixes of the song. Like, there's also a modern remix that's in this game. There's people that love the modern remix. I personally don't really like it all that much. Uh, like, it's, it's decent, but the classic really is excellent. I love the classic version. I actually have it on my iPod. But yeah, I don't listen to it too often, though, but when I did have it, I listened to it a lot because I loved it. Alright, and if you see me, like, looking over, like, to the side of the camera, it's because I actually have it set up, so, uh, like, here the camcorder can flip the screen so I know if I'm in the center or not, because that was the main problem with my last setup, uh, where I don't know if I was perfectly in center, and if I was here, I was using a mic stand as my tripod, and it was lower sometimes, and it was a pain in the butt, but I finally got a better, better setup, so, go me. Anyway, um, where are we going now? Oh yeah, we gotta be Modern Sonic to do this level. Alright, if anything, I should actually probably flip the screen on the uh, camcorder so I don't end up looking over and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, looking into a lens is not hard. Just that seeing your pretty little self on the screen. Hey, how you doing, cop? 
That memorizes that mesmerizes you sometimes. Anyway. When this was announced at E3, the City Escape at Modern Sonic, people went nuts. Yeah, you only go off those ramps, can you get some speed back? And unfortunately, I'm like kind of failing right now, so that I I really really apologize. I'm doing so poop right now. Okay, so just jump right here. There we go. And you can drift. And people say this is actually probably the best control for Sonic on a snowboard. Um, I like Sonic Adventure 2's uh, controls. They're really good too. Oh, and I downloaded uh Doki Doki Universe for PS3. So, I also got it for PS Vita, and I, I think I technically also have it for PS4, maybe? But I don't know. Maybe. Hope. Oh. I'm actually probably not going to play it, though. But, it's just another game to have in your library, I guess. Oh yeah, I also got uh, Tony Hawk Ride for the 360. But I don't have a 360, so I gave it to my brother. And I heard it's an absolutely horrible game. And you're probably saying, oh, didn't you just get it from your brother? No, I got, uh, I got it from my other brother. So yeah, I'm giving it... I got it from my brother Mike, and I'm giving it to my brother Zach, because he has a 360, and he used to love Tony Hawk. He's probably not going to like that game. But if anything, the board itself is probably just fun to mess around with. Like, don't even have the game. Just, like, freaking... They're doing freaking ollies and stuff and tricks in a freaking living room. The classic skateboard. I'd be more than happy to do that. <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, I'm not really much of a good speedrunner when it comes to uh, City Escape. But, uh, eventually, I might learn how to speedrun through this, maybe, I don't know. But it's probably never going to be as good as my speedrun as, uh, Green Hill. Yeah, my speed- yeah, my Green Hill speedrun's actually pretty good. No, because I beat some guy's world record. A glitch-free world record. I almost want to see if I can beat the actual, like, re regular record where they actually do use the glitch, and that was weird. But yeah, the only thing I don't like about this camcorder is that it records in 30 frames a second instead of 60. But YouTube compresses it down to 30 frames a second anyway, and that's, all, that's always how I render my videos anyway, but I don't think it really matters all that much. But when you record in 60 frames a second and then uh, render it in 30 frames, it actually does look pretty good. Like, it, like the game run itself runs really, really well. So when it's recorded in 30, it's not all that good. Like, this game is actually recorded in 30 frames a second. But then again, this game only runs at 30 frames a second too. But still, even if the game only runs at 30 frames a second, you're better off uh, recording it in 60 frames, because then when you render it in 30 frames, it looks gorgeous. Even if you render it in 60 frames, it still looks good. It just takes forever to render. Alright, all right, we got a new, new trophy, apparently. Very nice. <laughs> Alright, so that is it for this part, guys. So if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, then don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And tune in next time for some more Sonic Generations. But wait, we still need to show off the artwork. And we also got another trophy. Sweet. And we also saved Rouge the Bat. Mmm. Mmm. Look at her sexy. No. <laughs> Thanks, Big Blue. That's the first time I've ever been stolen. Wow. Hmm. Should that be a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> yeah, as I said in the uh, trophy... I only got one red ring? Wow, that's bad. But anyway, as I said in the trophy room, uh, she's pretty much like the sex icon of the Sonic universe. Oh wait, yeah, now I have to keep going, I was gonna say. Alright, so let's move on to the art. Um, what did we unlock last time? Alright, this is new, I believe, yeah. The Sky Sanctuary art. It looks really good, though, I like it. And more Sky Sanctuary. <laughs> Look at the freaking little doodle on the freaking Sonic. And like, okay, that's Sonic. No. More concept. Not bad. And more Sky Sanctuary stuff. And back to Sonic Heroes. Pretty sure we didn't unlock any music. Uh, actually, Emerald Hill Zone. That was from Sonic 2. But, uh. What else we unlock? Oh, Splash Hill Zone. That's from Sonic 4, right? Yep. I believe they also play this music at the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade when they show off the, uh, Sonic Mob Balloon. So, there you go. 
But anyway, yeah, as I said earlier, be sure to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And tune in next time for some more Sonic Generations. Alright guys, I will see you guys next video.